whole little container here full of screws. All the good essential parts. Kind of helps make the process go a lot easier. Okay. Now step one is complete. There, we've got our board in our case. You see, the I/O panel, as they call it, can act as a heat sink or dust cover. Keeps all the dust and hair out, or helps eliminate it some anyway. Go ahead and pull it out some. Okay, now, the next thing we're going to want to do is the processor. This is the AMD. So we can get some shot of that. Okay, lift the socket on. And you'll notice on the top side, it's got a mark over here, and on the back, two corners are missing the corner pins. But it's designed like that for a reason. It goes specifically on the socket one particular way. Now, this cool little white stuff right here is a heat sink silicone compound. And what this is for is for this. Now this is a good, real, real nice heavy duty heat sink with a copper core to keep perfectly cool. So now I'm going to wanna get this open. You know, first of all, and some people put them over the processors first, some people put them over the heat sticks. I guess it really just depends on a person's preference. In this case, I'm going to do both. I put some over the smallest chip in the dead center of the processor. Get my hand out of the way, sorry. Okay. I mean, you don't have to use all of it, that's fine. Uh, now, again, you'll notice the heat sink has a cutout on it. It's because it goes on one particular way. If you look on the socket, right at the top, right, this part right here is what feeds. And you've got the two little clips. It's always easier to do the back one first and then the front one because if you notice the front one's got a little notch on it. So trying to get these perfectly aligned is always fun. Aligned enough to snap in. As you can see. Sink on. This little guy here, <coughs> excuse me, plugs in. 
They're, they're, again, they're all different on every motherboard, but we'll find a spot for the fan. And they're pretty self-explanatory on how they plug in. Okay, now... memory. Now the other thing you're going to want to do is you notice there's a notch that's offset. That is very important. They all have to snap in on both sides just evenly. That's what these little ears are here. The ones with the white ears we're not going to be using. That's for a different style of memory that we're not using the old SD RAM. We're going to go with DDR. Start with putting this chip in first. Make sure it's all locked in. Same thing, obviously. Okay. That part is done. Next thing is hard drive. Yes, I know it's a Mac store, but you know, I don't care. A lot of people don't like Mac store. So there's little slots down in here where you get it set in. Also, there's a settings on the back of the hard drive for slave remaster make sure those are set properly to the application you're setting them up for normally as master but some people get a little weird I guess okay. we'll slide this board as close as we can and you'll notice here it's got holes. You want to make sure they're, they're set up just right. I'm going to pop another screw on this side. I'm not going to take the time to do both sides. But we'll get it done regardless. Okay, next comes your cables. Okay, you'll notice the one has a blue end on it. Okay, this is a UDMA cable, they call it. Always put this one on your hard drive. Now, you'll notice here on your board, let me try to zoom it in for you. Right here. These little guys here are where your hard drive plugs into and this one for your floppy drive. We're not worried about the floppy today. Who uses them? Okay, the top one here, the board is labeled IDE1. Let's see if I can get you guys a little better shot at that. See it? IDE1. And then the one below it is IDE2, which would be for other optical drives, CD-ROMs, burners, etc. Okay, so now we're going to Take back. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to put the CD-ROM cable on first, since it's the lowest one. That way, it's just kind of a little easier to do anyway. The uh, the other thing is, you'll notice they've got a stripe on them down one side, and some of them have this little notch that isn't on the other side. That is also important. Now these make them idiot proof so literally anybody can do them. But sometimes you don't get so lucky and there's not this notch. The stripe indicates the power.